Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Chapo, Chapo as well. So yeah, it'll be it's, it, it'll be the same. Now we roll into. Uh, I'm not sure who will be refereeing the games in New Zealand. Whether uh, Australian refs will travel or not sure. But um, yeah, as, as I said, Wayne, every, everyone gets reviewed. Um, we review our program every week with the leaders. We review individual performance every week, and yeah, as long as everyone's doing that. How were all those penalties clear to you on the ground? For. Uh, I wasn't too sure there. Um, you know, I just felt like there was no contest at all. Like both, just felt like both front rows were collapsing. So. So you didn't feel the Queensland had any dominance in the scrum? You, you felt it was an even contest. Well, you got to look at the penalty count. Um, you know, so you got to be honest there. Um, I mean, the thing was, I mean, the ball wasn't even basically in the second row by the time he had his hand out, so it was clearly penalising. Yeah, well, I thought like most of those calls, he's, uh, he was called that before we could even have a chance to come back against the pressure. So um, it's probably the uh, you know the picture that he had in his head, um, and probably I think we, we needed to be better there. Yeah, I think the last time you intimated, you can't really say too much. But uh, maybe you avoided some of the boys getting a fair crack there at the scrum. Do you feel like you're being judged before? That happens or reputations? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure what to think. To be honest. Um, yeah. What was your assistant oh. on the Reds' performance? Oh, they hung in there, didn't they? They hung in there, and uh, yeah. Like I, I congratulate Queensland, honestly, and I congratulate the Queensland people. Um, and obviously the Brumbies supporters that, that travel up here. Great night for Australian rugby. Really good night. And it's a great story and we're just disappointed. You know? And people got to understand that we're, we're shattered and we're not blaming anyone. Um, we're really proud of our group. Um, really grateful for the supporters that spent their hard earned cash to come up here and, and, and make it a really special event. And, and as I said, I take my hat off to the, the, the Red supporters. I've, um, a good, good young side here, they've got behind them and, and, and created a, a memory um, that we'll be spoken about for a long time to come. You know, we've got a great rivalry between these two teams. It's just, as I said, we're just, we're just shattered with the, with the outcome. So don't judge us on, on our disappointment. You mentioned the rivalry there. At the moment, there's a lot of positivity around the game. But it sort of rests on the shoulders of these two teams. It, it could rest on your shoulders for a little while. Oh yeah, all we can talk about is our own program and, and, and our own team. I'm, I'm not sure what's going on and obviously, you know, the Rebels and the Waratahs are make, making some changes there. There's a, a lot of good young coaches around that'll uh, put their hand up for those jobs and, and uh, you know, things can, can be turned around really quickly. Um, so I certainly don't want to show any disrespect to the other three teams. The force of improved throughout the, the course of this year. I think it's I think it's pretty clear that um, ourselves and the Reds have um, been the best two sides this year and, and that's what you want in a grand final and, and tonight was fitting of that. Given, given the performance tonight and the overall standard of the contest, is there an argument to be made for having a, an Australian component in the Super Rugby season as we have now? Or as in stick with Super Rugby AU? AU, yeah. Yeah, I'd have no issues with that. And then, and then basically roll into... Yeah, so what we're doing yeah. this year. Yeah, no, we, we enjoy the challenge of playing the New Zealand teams. Um, how that looks, whether it's, a, you know, from February, it looks like a, a full Trans-Tasman um, or it's um, Super Rugby AU into um, into a Trans-Tasman comp like it is this year. We, we would have we'd have no issues with that. You know, the people that run the game will make those uh, make those decisions. Thanks all.